WNJM, transmitting from Montclair State. Next, on Images and Imágenes, Miss New Jersey speaks of her role as a Latina and her quest to become Miss USA. Saludos, welcome to Images and Imágenes. I'm Miguel Perez. This Friday, Newark's Rosa Vélez, who won the Miss New Jersey USA pageant back on Thanksgiving weekend, will go to Texas to compete for the title of Miss USA. And so today, we're taking some time to get to know this beauty queen. But what makes a young Latina want to become Miss USA? We're about to find out. Welcome to Images Imágenes Rosa. It's a pleasure having you here. Thank you. Thank you very much. In just two days, you're going to Texas to compete for Miss USA. And I first question has to be, how does it feel? How do you feel today? Oh, it's ecstatic. It's, I'm very nervous. I'm excited. Um, everything with packing and buying and shopping, it's just incredible. You know, it, there's not enough time in the day to uh, pack and do everything that you want to do. Even the uh, governor of New Jersey has wished you well. Uh, is pulling for you, and you've gotten a lot of media attention lately. Uh, I just wondered whether this has changed your life, how your life is different now because of this pageant. It might have changed it just a bit different. Um, I think security-wise, you have to be more aware of where you're going and who you're going to see and whatever. Other than that, it hasn't changed much. It's continued the same way. My schedule has always been busy, and I like it a lot. I like the attention. I love the attention. It makes people happy. It makes me happy. Are you very optimistic uh, about what may happen uh, this weekend? Yes, I am. Um, I put myself at least in the top 12. That's as far as I can go because, you know, you, you never know. And I, I don't want to prep myself too high and then come back home and frown and cry. So I'm just looking at it positive and at least put myself in the top 10. And um, after that, the rest is history. Well, there are many other people who put you up there in the top 10. And we're going to watch a video now of a few people that wish you well. Let's Thank take you. a look at this video. She's fabulous! Although she possesses great outer beauty, her inner beauty is even greater. She's beautiful. She deserves the Miss New Jersey title, Miss USA, and the world. Autographs, hugs, kisses, proclamations, and musical tributes. There's excitement in the air in the city of Newark for Miss New Jersey, Rosa Velez. Besides being a beauty queen, Rosa Velez of Puerto Rican heritage is an outstanding athlete the winner of the J.C. Penney Designer Award and a fashion model. 24 years old and six feet tall, Rosa Velez is a rising star and an inspiration for inner city students and teachers. Rosa Velez was a student in one of my business classes and when I heard that she had won the title for Miss uh, New Jersey, I was just ecstatic. I was so proud of her because knowing her as a student and then knowing her uh, in this uh, capacity was just, just great. It really made me feel very happy. Everybody in North Tech, especially the senior class, is rooting for you. We hope you do real well. We hope you win Miss Universe, Miss America, Miss everything. By her winning the title, I hope she'll be an inspiration for some of the other students at our school. I feel proud and I wish young, more young ladies take after her and do what she's doing and believe in what they could do and do their best. Rosa, all of the staff and students here at North Tech are extremely proud of you and we have a quick message from the business department here at the Technical Career Center. Ladies. You go, girl! Bring it outside of home! We win in Miss USA. That'll be, I believe, the first Hispanic USA, the first uh, Hispanic in the New Jersey area, the first Hispanic in the Newark area. So I've, I will have broken three categories there, and that will make me very proud, my family very proud, and my city state very proud, and of course, the nation. Well, we have congratulated her and commended her by uh, recognizing her for this outstanding achievement and we are presenting the resolution to her to just letting her know how the city of Newark really feels about her. Representing the city of Newark and being a positive role model um, will give it a different facet, you know, everybody will see Newark maybe in a different way now, a different highlight. My dream in life right now would be to have a nice career in modeling and also finish school and graduate from Rutgers University. Criminal justice because 
I like the whole feel. I like the, the intrigue. I like the detective work, the investigation. Um, it's not an everyday same job. It's not a sanitary job. It's something that you have to get up and look for. It's motivating. I like it. I think that this is a great experience for you. I think it's a great opportunity for you to move ahead with the career that you're looking forward to going into. Um, I'm glad that we kind of made those accommodations so that you could get back and get into what it is you need to do so that you'll have something to fall back on. We're elated. We're so wonderfully excited for Rosa and we're rooting for her. We're hoping that she goes right up to the top. We're right behind her. We love her and we're so terribly proud of her. I've known Rosa for a couple of years now. She's a member of our varsity uh, athletic teams, uh, and uh, she's a, a real uh, aggressive player on the, on, the, on the court. She was a great athlete. She had a lot of potential. She played on both the basketball team for two years and the volleyball team for one year, and she contributed to the program immensely and really was very successful. I have a little nep uh, nephew and niece, and um, my little niece looks up to me so much that I must be, I mean, a perfect role model for her if she wants to copy me, you know. Um, for her, for the community, for the Hispanic community, for the community I live in. Um, it's just role model as a Latin is very important right now, especially now that the Hispanic population is growing. My family has been very supportive. I love them very much. Coming from a poor neighborhood and a poor family, trying to make it to a high stage, it's a very difficult task, especially when your background financially and minority is a very hard thing to do. Rosa, te deseamos que siga adelante, que Dios te ayude para que llegue, para que llegue a la meta que tú quieres y que sigan adelante. My advice to young people is to, above all, be focused, to uh, stay in school, get educated, educate themselves. Um, to definitely stay focused, um, not to deviate, detour from anything, from their dreams. Everyone can have dreams. And it's up to them to make them, you know, make their dreams come true. Win, lose, or draw, of course, we all love you. The committee uh, wants you to know that they are all behind you. You can call anyone anytime that you want. And you've made a whole lot of friends, and you've made a whole, the entire state of New Jersey happy. The Roosevelt, it's, it's uh, very exciting. I wish you all the congratulations and all the luck in the world. This is clearly a year for New Jersey, and I'm sure you're going to do very well. But you, just by being there, you are representing your community with a great deal of pride and excitement. And it's wonderful, and good luck. I will hope to do my best. I will hope to bring the crown home. And I hope to make you very proud. Thank you. Again, Rosa, I must fee, be, feel real good to get all this attention that you're receiving, and I can tell you're enjoying it. But I, I understand that in the very beginning, you were reluctant yes, to join a beauty pageant. Mm -hmm. And I want to know why. What made you have second thoughts about whether you should even go for this thing? Well, I was in school, and um, being in school and, and modeling part-time was a pretty big schedule of mine. I was always busy. So I didn't know if I had the money, first of all, or the time to enter the pageant. And then um, I just made up my mind three weeks later to enter it. And after that, it was just a whole lot of fun after I did. Uh, uh, there must have been things that uh, worried you also. I've read a couple of articles written about you, and one of the things that I read was that um, you um, had this image of uh, pageants being perhaps too phony or perhaps being degrading to women. Mm -hmm. uh, did you think about any of these things, and how do you deal with them now? Uh, not at all. I don't think pageants are degrading to women. I think they're fun. It's an opportunity to meet a lot of young ladies from all across the state. And um, on the practical side, you can win scholarship money. You know, so I think it's, you know, wonderful. And the other women, the other girls that you've met uh, competing in many of these pageants, do you think that they are uh, as natural as they really, as you are, or, <laughs> or sometimes they are a little bit uh, of uh, an acting uh, position or job? I think the girls are a little bit probably a, more of an acting assignment for them. Um, or a modeling assignment. Or a modeling assignment. And, um, other than that, I think everyone did their best, you know. I don't think anyone there had, uh, <laughs> was false in any way, shape, or form, but, um, you know, 
I think acting was a major role of it. So once you got into it, you, thought, you saw that the myths or the images that people have of a beauty pageant were not real then? No, the, the, the images that I saw about beauty pageants were real, uh, but I didn't see anything as far as the stories that I've heard in the past, in, in the pageant, in my state pageant. So um, that made me feel more comfortable. And talk about uh, acting and talk about modeling, I understand you want to do both. Yes. Is that why you're also pursuing this beauty pageant? Yes, I'm pursuing more entertainment than anything. And um, that pageant, Miss Beauty Queen, would definitely open a lot of doors and opportunities for you. Um, what is uh, your first priority, to become a model or an actress? <laughs> I think the first one would be to become a Hispanic supermodel. You know, a Latin, a, of course, modeling first. There are very few of those. Very few, very few. And what do you think uh, needs to be done to correct that situation? Uh, people like you need to assert themselves or, or the industry has to change a little bit to accept women, Hispanic women, uh, people of different ethnic groups to join that field? I think a little bit of both. Uh, the women has to be a little bit more assertive and take positive roles. And also the media, on the other hand, not to stereotype every Latin or Hispanic woman that comes into the media or the, you know, the limelight attention. I think mm -hmm. so. We see in Hollywood, especially, a lot of uh, non-Latinos playing Latino roles. <laughs> and so that, you know, uh, whenever there is a Latino role, which are few and far in between, uh, in a Hollywood movie or in a television program, and it's given to a non-Latino, we feel like we're being uh, left out. So faces like yours and personalities like yourself yeah. uh, could change uh, that for our community, better representation. I hope so, yes. Uh, I understand that you were, first of all, I should say that you're a Rutgers University criminal justice ma major. Yes. Uh, a former member of the basketball team. Yes. You're 24 <laughs> years old. You're six foot tall. <laughs> and um, I understand that you are one of a family of many boys. Yes. So you all, uh, between you and all your brothers, you had a basketball team of your own. Basically. <laughs> on, of course, only in the playground. Only in the playground. Uh, I have five brothers. I'm the only girl, and I'm the second oldest. Um, and uh, and uh, how does it feel? Uh, I understand that you were sort of a tomboy when you were growing up with all the, all the guys. <laughs> I was. How does it feel going from a tomboy to a beauty queen? That must, must be a drastic Over change Over the for years, you. Um, it was a, a smooth transition because, you know, when you were younger and as a teenager, you, you don't have a lot of the attributes as a young lady. Uh, so it was a smooth transition. And thanks to my father, I, you know, he was the one who started me off in modeling. And how do you deal with the situation where you are a student, uh, uh, aspiring model, mm -hmm. uh, beauty queen, uh, all of those? How do you combine? Where do you find the time to do all these things? Uh, uh, you know, tell us a little bit about the struggle of college life for somebody like yourself who, even while you're at college, you're already trying to develop a professional career. Right. It's difficult because, um, well, I go to school at night, so in the morning it gives me all the time to do all the running around, to do my modeling. And then when I used to play basketball, well, I used to do my modeling in the morning. And in the evening, I had the practices from 2.30 on down, and then at night I had classes. And then I switched it around to have classes in the morning, practices, and then I did fashion shows at night. So it was always a very hectic schedule, a very busy schedule. And it truly is a struggle, you know, to try to everything, combine everything on your schedule because, like I said before, it's not enough hours in the day. And why did you quit the basketball team? <laughs> I was afraid of getting a, a, a busted lip, you know, a black eye, a twisted ankle, which I twisted my ankle often. So um, after I saw that modeling became something that I really wanted to do and I enjoyed myself doing, I just couldn't see myself walking down the runway with a cast on my leg or anything like that. So you were afraid that an injury might hamper your uh, modeling career? Yes. And so uh, do you miss it? Um, are you still in touch with your former teammates? Uh, do you go to the basketball games to watch them play? I see them all often. I go see them play. Uh, sometimes I keep their books for them. Um, I talk to all of them. They are very friendly and very nice to me. Um, I, I miss it a lot. I miss it a lot. And I still play basketball once in a blue moon when I have the time. I go shoot around, still see if I still have my shots, and I still have it. <laughs> uh, you come from a very tight family, from what I understand, a traditional Hispanic family, but also a, a poor family uh, that had to struggle to get where it is today, where your brothers have succeeded and you are in the process of becoming 
uh, let's hope Miss USA. Yes. So um, uh, tell us about that. Tell us about coming from a poor Hispanic family in Newark uh, and getting to where you are today. Does it feel like you've really accomplished something being here on a television program? Oh, yes. I think I've accomplished a lot. Um, 24, I've traveled the world, I've done some modeling, I've played basketball, I've practically done everything that I like to do, and I enjoy myself doing that. Um, on the other hand, um, coming from a modest family has been very difficult, you know, uh, a large family also, five brothers, mom, dad, myself. Um, so it's been very difficult, but at the same token, it's rewarding to see the family still there and supporting me on everything that I do. Who did you learn to struggle from? Uh, was it your parents that taught you to uh, persist and, and compete like yeah. you're doing right now? I think uh, putting myself into sports, the competition edge, I've always liked competition. So I think that's what pushes me the most in my determination for, you know, to do well. Who are your role models? Who, who has backed you and who has uh, encouraged you to succeed? The most, uh, my role model. My mother has been the, the backbone of my struggle and go on, you can do well and you know, don't worry, I'm right there with you, I'm right behind you. If you fall, I'll catch you, I'll hug you, I'll kiss you. So my mom has definitely been my role model for me, you know, she's just like, go get him, I'm right here behind you, so. My and now you're a role model yourself for a lot of Latinas, mm -hmm. for a lot of minority women. Yes. What do you think about that responsibility? Well, I think it's a responsibility that I will have to <laughs> take into consideration since others will see me as a role model. I don't mind being a role model and um, being a positive influence to our young youngsters and um, which by the way makes me happy to see other people follow what I'm doing because it's something positive. Now if you were to win the Miss USA pageant this Friday night, uh, does that mean that you would compete for Miss Universe uh, representing the United States? Yes, if I win Miss USA, I will be representing Miss USA in the Miss Universe pageant, which will be taking place in Manila, Philippines. I don't know as of yet the date or the time. Well, you have plenty of time to worry about that after <laughs> I Friday know. night. Um, tell me, um, what, are, what do you think are your chances? I mean, I don't think there's ever been a Latina representing the United States in world competition. Uh, do, you, do you dream about that? What, what, do, what do you think about what may happen on Friday night? Well, uh, listen to everyone's comments, my directors, photographers, uh, people who have dressed me in the past. Everyone thinks I will do well in the Miss USA pageant. If I was to win the Miss USA pageant and enter the Miss Universe pageant, they even think I would do even better because in the past, most women that have won the Miss Universe pageants have been Latin women of other countries, Miss Colombia, Miss Venezuela. Mm -hmm. They've always done well. Yes. And just last year, Miss Puerto Rico won. Um, so I think I have a very good chance as an exotic woman, um, a Latin, you know, representing the USA. I think the USA would do very well. And very well spoken, if I may say so. Uh, tell me, what uh, happens Friday night? What, do you, what are the competitions like? The competitions for the Miss USA pageant will probably be swimwear, uh, evening wear, the judges' competition, uh, judges' interview, and uh, evening wear, swimwear, judges' competition. I think that's it. And is there a question and answer segment where you, they'll also ask that's you a couple the, of tough questions that you have yes. to answer on the spot like you're doing here yes, now? Yes, yes. That's for the pick 12. Uh, if I was to get picked in the top 12 for the uh, US, uh, USA finalist, then I will have to ask or answer the questions the host asked me, which might be Dick Clark if I'm not mistaken. So yes. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I understand that from an article that I read that you agreed to be in a video for a boutique called uh, Dirty Drawers. Yes. And a lot of people are raising their eyebrows <laughs> thinking, well, is this another Vanessa Williams uh, case where you know, we may have a, a controversy in our hands. Uh, Dirty Drawers is co sort of a po provocative uh, evening wear or ling lingerie yes. boutique. Mm -hmm. And what made you decide to, to go ahead and do this? Was it part of your interest in modeling? Uh, it was part of my interest in modeling. It was helping a fellow friend out. Uh, he owns the, the shop of the boutique Dirty Draws. Uh, it's located in downtown Newark, and it was just a lingerie show. I hosted the show for him. Um, and it was just, you know, nothing was being exploit, exploited. Um, everything was just a nice show. It's, we kept it clean. So it's, it's nothing wrong with lingerie, and everything came out pretty much, you know, fine. And you haven't heard any complaints from anybody and pageant officials or anything oh, like that? Oh, nothing at all. As a matter of fact, before, uh, 
before I entered the pageant or after I went Mr. Jersey, uh, they gave me a questionnaire and answered some questions about what I have, what have I done in the past mm -hmm. and what was my most recent project. And I let them know and they was like, oh, that's nothing, that's just lingerie. They looked at it as Victoria's Secrets. And that's the kind of thing that I probably, uh, probably a lot of other uh, contestants have done in the past uh, as they're aspiring to be models and also beauty queens. Sure. Uh, have you made friends with some of the other women that are competing, uh, especially when you were competing for Miss New Jersey? Tell mm -hmm. me about what that was like and if you uh, know other women that also competed in that pageant. Well, I've met a lot of young ladies. Uh, two of them are from Newark and they're, right now they're my friends. And um, they were very nice young ladies, very intelligent young ladies. They all work in prominent positions. So um, they were all very friendly to me. There was nothing nor you know nothing abnormal about the whole event it was just nice and fun and the girls were wonderful so how uh how does uh, what kind of a message are you sending to hispanic women about what you've accomplished and what they could also accomplish uh, so after all this is images imágenes and mm -hmm. what we're presenting here is the imágenes of the Hispanic community and sure. the role models of the Hispanic community. You will certainly qualify under all those categories. You're a role model and you're a beautiful imagen. Thank you. Uh, so w tell us what, uh, what the responsibility, again, rests on your shoulders mm -hmm. uh, to represent Latinas. And what would you say to Latinas who are listening or viewing this program tonight uh, about uh, you know, what they can do? If you did it, can they do it too? Sure they can, sure they can. Um, first, you have to focus and determine yourself, pick a goal for yourself and go for it. Um, no matter what anyone says, if you believe in yourself foremost and first of all, I think if you believe in yourself and you focus, you shouldn't have a problem accomplishing anything that you uh, would, want, would like to do in life, you know? So um, just to, if you believe in yourself, go out there and do it. Uh, do you need sponsors? Are you in the process of getting more sponsors to do what you're about to do this weekend? Or do you already have your... How does that work? Uh, the funding that you need for all the expenses that you have? Right. My expenses for the Miss USA pageant are pretty much covered. Except my parents um, flying them out was like my own expense and that I'm doing a dinner party. Uh, I had a dinner party and that dinner party was the, the, to cover expenses for my parents to fly to Texas. And so they're going to be there with you. Oh, yeah. What about all the brothers? Uh, some of my brothers, uh, friends, girlfriends. Uh, I have quite a few people flying down. They're so all flying together? Be, yes. That's wonderful. So you're going to have the traditional Hispanic family rooting in the audience for you that day? Yes. Yes, I am. Now, what about your friends in college? How do they feel about all, everything, all the attention you're getting? Is there a little jealousy here, or are they all rooting for you, too? I think they're all rooting for me. I don't see too much jealousy at all. They're so excited for me, and everyone's like, oh, Rosa, you're going to do well. Just come back home and bring the crown. And, you know, so they're really excited for me, too. And there's no jealousy at all. They're all wishing me well. I mean, I've always been with them from very beginning to, to now, and they all wish me well and want me to come back to school. Of course, everyone wants me to finish school, so... That's very important right now, too. Well, that was my next question. Why did you choose to study criminal justice if you want to be an actress and a model? Well, because you always got to have a piece of paper to fall back on. Suppose, you know, my face gets scarred, you know, God forbid I have a bad accident, I break a leg or something. Um, there's always good to have that paper from school and your education to fall back on. So you, if, if uh, it doesn't work uh, in Hollywood, uh, right. would you then, uh, what, how would you pursue a career in criminal justice? What, what would you want to be? Well, in criminal justice, there's so many opportunities. Um, you can go into law school. Um, you can definitely go into corrections, um, the law enforcement part of it. So many different fields that you can, you know, go into. It's full of opportunities. That's why I had to have uh, criminal justice. Plus, it interests me. Okay, so we're running out of time, but I want you to have, in your own words, an opportunity to uh, say thank you to all the people who, throughout the years, have supported you or helped you or help you get where you are right now, mm -hmm. uh, especially in, in this uh, New Jersey pageant back in Thanksgiving weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, just in your own words, I'd like you to talk to them and tell them how you feel about you know, the support that you've received. Well, I'm very happy. Um, thank you all for your support. You've all been very wonderful to me. Uh, keep supporting me because you never know what can happen. I love you all very much. And New Jersey, thank you so much for giving me all your energy and rooting for me. And um, I hope to make everyone very proud when I come back, if I come back. Let me tell you, it's a good feeling to, uh, 
to know that there is someone from the state, our home state of New Jersey, who is a Latina. It must be a very good feeling for other Latinos. I'm speaking now for the Hispanic community. Uh, it's a very good feeling to know that someone from our community, uh, when we are uh, struggling to get political representation, right. struggling to do so many other things, uh, someone like you has made it uh, at the forefront, leading uh, the beauty queens of, of the country and representing not only Latinas in New Jersey, not only the state of New Jersey, but Hispanic people all over the country right. uh, who need that representation. So it's we're very proud of you, and you. and I'm I'm very happy that you were on the program with us today. Thank and you. I want you to know that um, we wish you well. Thank and you. That, Thank uh, you. That all of, I'm sure non-Latinos as well will be rooting for you this Friday night. Thank and, you. And uh, we want uh, we want to do a, make a special presentation on behalf of us, all of us at NJN. Thank we you. want uh, our own Ana Quiñones to uh, present you with a, <laughs> a, a little token of our oh. of our appreciation Thank and our you, well wishes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anna. Thank you for being on the program. We okay. really appreciate uh, you being here. We wish you the best of luck. And uh, again, uh, don't break a leg break playing basketball, but break a leg Friday night competing at the, uh, at the Miss, Miss USA and then again at the Miss Universe because we're rooting for you and perhaps all of that will be accomplished in the near future. If you win Miss USA, we want you back on the program. <laughs> and certainly if you become Miss Universe, we want Thank you back you. on the program. And we hope that you keep writing letters uh, to NJN. Uh, tell us how you feel about this program. It's very important for, for us to hear from you. And I'm Miguel Perez for Images Imagines. I'll see you next uh, week. Thank you for tuning in. Hasta pronto.